All morning long, we've been hearing how the Edgewater Gymnast Gymnastics team is preparing for an upcoming competition right here in Panama City Beach. Yeah, Mackenzie McClintock joins us live from the gym one last time for that story. Hey there, Mackenzie. Hey, good morning, Aaron and Chris. We've moved over to beam now. The girls braving it out for me early this morning. Balance checks or not at all because you're the beam queens, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about it, Coach Anna. One last time, Edgewater Gymnastics holding your annual beach resort meet here mm -hmm. coming up. How excited are you for this competition? Oh, we're absolutely thrilled as a gym, you know, as hosting the meet as well. You know, this is one probably the biggest meet that's being held in the state of Florida right now. Um, we have 850 athletes, but of course that goes hand in hand with following all the CDC guidelines and all the COVID protocols. And it's going to be different, of course. I mean, this whole year has been different so far, but all we're really trying to do is keep it a safe environment. Every athlete is only allowed three spectators, so the crowd might not be quite as big as we're used to, but we're hoping we'll get lots of support on our Facebook Live that we're going to do for the highest level session. That's going to be Saturday night. All right, and of course, all the action, though, gets started just about a week away, Friday the 12th, and we'll go all the way through Monday. But, Coach, I want to talk to you about your message to your team. You didn't know months ago whether or not you'd be able to have this meet. It's happening now. What are you telling them before they walk out on the floor? I mean, before we even start, this is the most resilient team out there going through the hurricane, not having a gym for a full year. Then without even being open a full year, we had to close down the gym. I mean, we have this beautiful facility that nobody was in for two months, but this team is beyond dedicated. They did Zoom practices where we conditioned for two months straight and they didn't miss a beat. And then when we got back, they were able to be stronger than ever so that the chance that they have right now, they are undefeated right now. This team has not lost a meet yet. They've won first place in every level that we have. And the fact that they're going to be competing against the best of the best in the state, in the region, and that gets to be our competition. We're just honored to host these amazing clubs, but the fact that we're going to be up there competing level with them, it's fun and it's just an honor and I'm just so blessed to get to coach these girls every single day. Yeah, of course. Well, let's mention it one last time. What is your Facebook page so people know how to tune into either the live stream or just with the pictures and the results you post all weekend long? Absolutely. You can go to our Facebook. It's Edgewater Gymnastics and give us a like. That way you can see all of our posts. We're going to be posting pictures, videos, results. All that good stuff is going to be on our Facebook page. And then, like we said, it's going to start on the 12th. That's Friday the 12th. And it goes all the way through President's Weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, four full days of gymnastics competitions. And we're going to be going live again. That'll be that Saturday the 13th. And that's going to be for the highest level. It's a premier session. You don't want to miss out. All right. Well, Coach Anna, thank you for having me this morning. I'm going to be sore tomorrow after right. practicing right. along with you, but I loved it anyways. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We always love having you. It's, it's a, we're so happy. Thank you so much. Oh, of course. <laughs> thank you. Hey, as we send it over to the studio, Lauren can tell us just when these gymnasts can expect a warm up and maybe just stop feeling so freezing inside here, Lauren, but they're working out and warming up that way too. That's the key. Thanks, Mackenzie. Yeah, we've got temperatures still freezing for inland.